Hmm. So in today's session, we are going to start with the analytics. Like uh, activity is one of the feature of Salesforce and activity basically have two object task and event. So in the same way, analytics is also one of the feature of Salesforce and uh, in the analytics, like we are going to see two major components, that's reports and the dashboard. Now see, this, uh, this topic is essentially important. So there are, you know, few more uh, industries like white hat, and uh, then there are few few of the more examples. I mean, these are the people, those who, those the entire, you know, entire business are based on the reporting. Let me tell you that. So as a whole time, we have so many friends and those who are into different, different domains. They are working in the different, different organizations for different projects. So I have one of my friend who is actually in the white hat. So he was one day, you know, he was saying this to me, Ke, our whole process, you know, just depends on the analytics. That mean, uh, you probably have heard about this white hat. So these are some of the people, those who are into the training segment and or something like that. Now they used to, you know, have this whole acknowledgement Ke, how a certain process is going on. And uh, I mean, what's the progress uh, related to some sort of training, related to some sort of business, uh, business process they have, they used to run this whole thing. So their entire, you know, one of the major work these guys very have is to build up the reports and the dashboard. So this is an essential component. You know, this is one of the essential component. This is one of the essential job that you could probably is going to be served as an administrator. So, uh, this is a certainly an important topic, you know, this is certainly an important topic. So in this analytics, <clears throat> majorly I'm going to cover two major things. And that is uh, the first is we will, uh, we are going to start with the reports. And the second thing, what we are going to learn is dashboards. Okay. So let's one by one, let's start this. Okay. So uh, again, we are, I mean, I'm going to repeat the same story once again, that uh, we have, we already know this, you know, I, I mean, from the first thing, what we have started learning in the Salesforce, that was right, uh, right. It was application, like uh, so application. Kya hota hai. So uh, we came to know that there are two major applications, uh, like one is uh, the thing, what is given to us from the Salesforce, uh, sometimes uh, the thing called as to be standard standard application and whatever we have created you know that is called as custom application so you now you know this sales service marketing these all are the standard application app launcher community site.com chatter these all are the standard applications and what we have created like merck incorporation skyline whatever they were actually the example of your custom application so this was the first thing now second thing what we have learned is like what does it means by the objects right and then we came to know that there are uh, two, again, there are two different types of objects, standard objects and the custom object. So standards like, you know, account case, contact lead, opportunity, <clears throat> these were the standard. Then according to the requirement of the client, we have created few more of the entities, few more of the objects like hiring manager position, something like that. So all this falls under the uh, category of custom object. Then inside the object also, you know, we came to know that whenever an object is created by default, you know, it, it, it has been created with a few fields. So with the field like ID and the name and then created by last modified by, you know, this whole thing, last modified by whatever. So ID, name and then owner and then created by last modified. By. So they, these were the five standard fields. And whenever an object is created, an object is created with all these five fields. Now, apart from these five standard fields, whatever you have created right inside the object, so these things are called as the standard uh, custom fields. So this is a common story that we are uh, listening this right from the beginning of Salesforce training. And whenever we start a new topic and we try to build up something new, we came to know that there are certain functionality that is being provided to us from the Salesforce side. And we call those things as to be the standard. It could be like an app standard application. It could be like, you know, standard objects, could be like the standard fees. And then we, you know, whatever we start building inside the Salesforce CRM, whatever we start building, we call those to be the custom things, like the custom applications, like the custom objects, you know, custom fields, whatever. Now in the same way, here is the same story. 
there are few reports you are going to see right now that there are few of the reports which have been provided to you as a sample as a as an you know what you could say as a uh, as a testing data as a sample data as a sample reports uh, salesforce will provide you certain different different kinds of report so these kind of reports are called as standard reports okay and what then we are also going to create and in our examples uh, while while learning this reports we are also going to create our own customized reports right so whatever we are going to create that is we call this to be as the custom reports okay now here uh, let me show you first of all all those thing hmm. then then we will move on to the next topic so uh, let's go to this tab if you don't have this tab you know how to add this on to the tab bar you know to add this you just need to follow the same same navigation we have do it you know so many times we have do this so let me remove few of the things from here yeah so let me save this yeah so uh, first of all you know i recommend that you should add this reports onto the tab bar if if you don't have this just add it on the tab bar now once you go to this particular tab you see there are so many so many different folders over here first of all on the left hand side you could see that there are so many folders over here now i select this uh, unfiled public uh, report so i have a report in this if i select this my personal i obviously don't have any report inside this let me go to the einstein bot uh, reports this again but if i go to this uh, folder called account and contact i could see that there are a few of the reports over here and i could open any of the report if you want you could see open the report and see how does the reports actually looks like okay then uh, there are so many folders like if you go to the opportunity you have a few of the certain reports over here sales lead you know now what are these what are these i mean did we have created any report no so far we have not created any report we are of course going to create it but all these data all these reports what i'm seeing inside inside every folder some of folders these all are the example of standard reports okay so one one more thing what we should identify over here is that see every report every report must be present inside a folder every report must be present inside a folder okay so there are so many folders over here there are so many folders like unfiled public reports and this einstein bot and my personal you know and uh, accounts and the contact opportunity so there are so many folders over here so every report first of all must be present inside a folder that's essentially important to understand uh somewhere it has been returned mm. yeah see each report should get reside inside or rather each report should be present or stored inside a, a report folder that is essentially important now uh first of all let's understand this uh, what what do you mean by the folder what are the types of folder then we will understand this what does it means by granting the access on the report okay we we shall come to here later but let's first of all discuss this topic तो जैसे कि मैंने कहा कि रिपोर्ट्स आर एक्चुअली प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द फोल्डर्स फोल्डर्स अगेन आर ऑफ द टू कैटेगरीज ये जितने भी फोल्डर्स है ना द फोल्डर्स व्हाट यू आर सीइंग राइट नाउ ओवर हियर अनफाइल्ड एंड माय पर्सनल डैशबोर्ड का रिपोर्ट्स आइंस्टीन बॉट एंड दिस अकाउंट कांटेक्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी सेल्स एवरीथिंग दीस फोल्डर्स आर स्टैंडर्ड फोल्डर्स व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे वर ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द और वी हैवंट क्रिएटेड एनी वन ऑफ देम सो दे वर बिकॉज़ दे वर ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट इनसाइड दिस तो आई कॉल दिस टू बी एज अ स्टैंडर्ड फोल्डर ऑल ऑफ देम यू नो ऑल ऑफ देम आर स्टैंडर्ड फोल्डर So now, apart from the standard folder, apart from there are so many types. These unfiled, my personal, you know, and this dot 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 means there are so many different types of standard folders. Apart from this, uh, you have this facility that you could create your own custom folders. You know, you could create your own custom folders. So let me first of all create my own custom folder, and let's understand the navigation for this. And uh, because it has not written, I have not written the navigation. You know, I don't have written the navigation probably. So you need to understand it from here itself. So what is the navigation to? If I want to create my own folder, you know, if I wanted to create my own folder, how could I create? How could I create them? So if you see this icon, let me just uh, highlight it. If you see this icon over here, you know, if you see this icon, a very small icon. uh there's a there's a picklist menu over here if you click this there are two options new report and new dashboard 
I mean, you could create a folder for the reports, for storing the reports. You could create a new folder, a custom folder for storing the dashboards, whatever you are going to create. So presently, I wanted to create the reports. That is why what I'm doing, I'm just creating a report folder. Uh, maybe in the coming days, I'm go I could probably also create a dashboard. I mean, when we, and you know, after completing this report, the second thing, the second topic, what we are going to hit is like dashboard. So that time, probably we could, you know, create our own dashboard folder and then whatever the dashboards that we are going to create, we are going to store those into that folder. So now we are on to this report. So I want the, I mean, I just wanted to create a folder so that whatever the reports I will be creating, I will not store it inside any of the standard folder. Rather, I'm going to store it into my own folder. So go with this link, report, uh, new report uh, folder, and then... Let me remove the anonet first. Yeah, here you need to give the label for this folder. I mean the folder name in short. So I I give this as to be the skyline skyline email folder. Take it. Or rather, why should I give skyline report? Or just skyline, that's it. Okay. It's not there over. Yeah, let me copy the same over here also. So I'm giving this as a name to be the skyline. That's it. Now you see one one folder has been created. Skyline. Okay. Okay. So ye pehla tha, the what what the for the first thing what we have discussed is that there there are two types of reports, standard and the custom. You know, you could you could go to the standard folders, you are going to find out the reports. Okay, skyline maybe kuch nahi rahega because it's it's empty. Uh, we haven't created any report. Ye button se hum log, we are going to create the report. Chaliye. But par aap dekh sakte ki, uh, for example, if I go to the supports folder, these many other reports that are there into this. If I go to the opportunity report folder, now you could see that uh, there there are actually all the these reports that are already being there. Now see, uh, one more question is expected in the interview, how you can give uh, the accessibility, you know, how you could, uh, rather how you could share a report, how you could share a report to different users. That means if there is a report, opportunity source report, you know, if there's a report, this is the report. And I wanted this to be get shared to few more users inside my organization. Now see, let's understand this fact. So if I have, you are going to learn this, don't worry, it's a future topic, but right now we could discuss few of the things right now. So, uh, so many times probably we have come to this discussion that I, I showed you that inside your organization, you know, you have more than one users. And then uh, after a few days, you are going to understand how to create the new users also, how to add few more users. But right now, at least I could see that I have four different users over here. One is me, SFT training best 201 at redgmail.com. This is my, you know, apart from this, apart from me, there's chatter user, there's integration and the security users. Now, so this clearly indicates to me that uh, there could be few more users inside the organization. Now, if there's a report, you know, if there is an report, for example, this report or rather this or rather this, any one of them. And I wanted to share this report to, uh, for example, integration user or for example, chatter or for example, security user. How could I share the report? Because this is one of the interview question. How could you share a report to different, different users? If you created a report and you wanted that this report should be get shared to your manager, to your lead, or rather to your subordinates, there are a few more people, those who are working be below to you. I mean, they are uh, lower in the hierarchy. For example, you are the senior developer. And, you know, inside your hands, inside your team, there are a few of the junior developers. And then you created a report that you wanted to share it to a few more people. How could you share that? This is very common requirement of everything. Or rather, ek cheez aap samajhiye, reports are created to be shared. Why we create the reports? Reports are meant to be shared. Why at all we want create a report? We wanted to, uh, we, uh, I mean, we create a report so that we could share it to someone and so that, you know, someone else could get the data. Someone else should get the information uh, from that report. So whenever a report is created, whatever, what is the ultimate aim of a report to get to shared, to be shared among the different, different people. This is what you write a letter. Why you write a letter? Because you wanted to post it, right? This is what the meaning, I mean, same, same meaning. So because if we wanted something to be shared so that then different users could get information regarding any of the aspect. 
So that is why we create the reports. So this is one of the very common thing. If I create a report, how could I share it to uh, more than one users? So, so whenever we wanted to share this, abhi chalo, iske answer pe aate. whenever we wanted to share a report, first thing first is that we cannot directly share the report. First thing, if I wanted to share a for uh, if I wanted to share a report, I could I cannot directly share a report. Rather, I share the folder. I have to share the folder. Actually, hum kya karte hai ki individually one report is never shared to different different users. What we do is that, if example, you know, I wanted to share five reports or rather one report, whatever is the report I wanted to share. I will create a folder, first of all, you know, I'll create a folder. I will create a folder called as, hmm, Okay, so with this name, you know, with this name, I'm going to create a folder. So I created a folder, understand? I a folder. Banaya. And then whatever the reports, you know, for example, uh, there are a few reports that I wanted to share. This is the report, let me open this report. And uh, customize the report. I, I'm sure I will show you what I, what is I'm doing. Don't worry, you are going to understand anything. So see what I have done actually, I transferred one of the report into this folder, my sharing folder. Okay. Now this is the report and I wanted to share this report. So what I will do is that Ke reports kabhi bhi share nahi karte hain. We always share the folder. We always share the folder. So, we have to do that if you wanted to share a report, one report, two report, three, four, five, whatever, you first of all create a folder. You know, then, uh, then store whatever the reports you wanted to share, you know, just uh, store them inside that particular folder. And then you could share the folder to the user. Report individually are never ever shared, you know. Whenever we wanted to share the report, first of all, we should transfer this in, inside a folder. And then we share the folder. Once the folder is shared, that all reports inside the folder are going to be shared automatically. This is what the concept is. So see how to share the folder. You know, in, in front of this, you see this symbol. You know, you see this symbol, a very small symbol, a very small icon on the right hand side. Just click on that. There's an option. Edit apart from edit, delete. There's an option share. Just click on that. So you wanted to share this to whom? Share with the users, share with the roles, you know, like this. So you want to share who share karna chahta? Abhi roles, kya hota hai? roles and subordinates, kya hota hai? groups, kya hota hai? public group. These are all things you will have in a few days. Now, at least I know user concept, so I am talking about the user. For example, uh, let me share this folder to integration user. Now, when I am integration user, ko share kar raha hon, so what kind of access I wanted to give him? If there are three types of access, hoti, weaver, editor, manager, this is also one of the questions. What could be the access we could give a report? And if, if I'm sharing a report to a user, what kind of access I could give him? So there are three different kinds of access. Weaver access. If you give weaver access to so the person, this integration user, who you have weaver access, ke share kiya, he could only view the report. He could just run the report and see the data. Just like an audience. Now, if you make him as an editor, you can make editor. Bana dete ho, but the person could, you know, uh, even see the data as well as if some point he wanted to make some changes, he could change also that. That means he could edit certain values over here. Wo edit bhi kar sakta hai. Hai? And if you make him the manager, because see, you create the report by default, you are the manager. But if you make this integration user or security user, whatever, if you make the manager, now that person could see, could edit, even he could delete the data. If he want, he could delete the report also. So editor or manager, the biggest difference is deletion. 
वीवर तो सिर्फ देख सकता है एडिटर देख भी सकता है एडिट भी कर सकता है लेकिन डिलीट नहीं कर सकता बट फॉर डिलीटिंग यू शुड है मैनेजर परमिशन ठीक है तो मैनेजर मतलब एज गुड एज ओनर उसके पास में सारे राइट्स होते हैं सो वट आई एम डूइंग आई एम मेकिंग दिस इंटीग्रेशन यूजर एज द वीवर आई एम मेकिंग सिक्योरिटी यूजर एज टू द एडिटर ठीक है एंड लेट्स मेक डन तो देखो अभी ये तीन लोगों को शेयर्ड है तीसरा कौन हूं मैं वाई आई एम बिकॉज आई एम द ओनर आई एम द ओनर ऑफ दिस रिपोर्ट मैं हूं एंड आई एम हैविंग दिस बाई डिफॉल्ट ओनर हैव मैनेजर परमिशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव नाउ शेयर टू इंटीग्रेशन यूजर विद द वीवर परमिशन सो दैट अभी आप जो भी रिपोर्ट है इसके अंदर इस फोल्डर में माई शेयरिंग फोल्डर के अंदर जो भी रिपोर्ट है उसको इंटीग्रेशन यूजर भी देख सकता है बट ही कुड ओनली सी दैट वाई बिकॉज ही इज हैविंग दिस वीवर परमिशन security user he could he's having the editor rights that mean he could you know uh, he could see the data even he wanted he could modify the data also because he's having that uh, editing right with him what he cannot what he can't do he can uh, he cannot this delete the report he cannot delete the folder because he don't have that manager permission okay now let me close this so this is what one of the interview questions report ke upar mein ye ek question banta hai first thing first ke how could you share the report the second what are the different type of access i could give to anybody if i'm sharing a report to a user what kind of access i could give him so there are three different accesses what are those first is your viewer the second is editor and the third is manager viewer can only see the reports inside the report he could run the report and just see the data editor can even run the report and if he wanted he can make the changes also he could edit the reports and the manager have full control he could run the report he could edit the report if he want he could delete the report also okay so this is what i mean the concept yahan tak introductory concepts tha iska let's now move towards okay, what are the different types of report and see everything has been written over here and you just required to go with the query abhi jo jo bhi maine kaha yahan pe na everything we need to grant the permissions on the folders i mean if you wanted to share the report first of all sharing a reports is not possible rather sharing of folder is possible okay so i could grant the permission so everything has been written you just guys required to go with the theory at least once chaliye aage badhte hain now let's come to the fact how many different types of reports reports are of four types tabular summary joint matrix theek hai tabular summary joint matrix now before i actually start with this let me make one thing very clear There is one interview question on which report you could create the dashboard components or chart components. What is who ID? What ID? They show up. One second. Shubham, today you have asked me one question. Just a second. This is the question. If account have not have contact details of any customer, why additionally we require this? That is why I told you to ask this in the in the session live session because this is one of the interview question. What I have actually, you know, I don't know how you came to know about this question, but yeah, this is one of the question that I already have written in this file. Anyway, what I was saying is that. Hmm. What are the different types of reports? Uh. somewhere there is has been a question on which report you could create the chat components i mean there are four different types of report i don't getting it right now but anyway please write on the question the question is like you know on which report first of all what are the different types of report that is the question so there are four types of report tabular summary joint and matrix these are the four types and then the second question is like uh, in okay, on which report we can create dashboard components ya fir chat components agar do mein se koi ek cheez bolte hain तो इससे पहले कि हम ये सीखें से सब कुछ क्या है लेट मी ऑन द फर्स्ट डे इट सेल्फ लेट मी गिव यू द आंसर यू कैन क्रिएट चैट कंपोनेंट क्या डैशबोर्ड कंपोनेंट ओनली ऑन टू काइंड्स ऑफ रिपोर्ट समरी रिपोर्ट एंड द मैट्रिक्स रिपोर्ट एंड दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सी यू नो डोंट वरी दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सी इट प्रैक्टिकली अभी बस मैं आपको शुरुआत में क्लियर कर दे रहा हूँ पहले से बता दे रहा हूँ आंसर बाद में फिर कैसे है ना मैं आपको वही सेम चीज लाइव दिखाने वाला हूँ के टैबुलर रिपोर्ट सॉरी समरी रिपोर्ट and matrix report these are the two kinds of report on which you could create the chat component you could create the uh, dashboard components theek hai ab ye chat component kya hote hain dashboard components kya hote hain wo sab hum seekhne wale hain but these components cannot be created on the tabular report as well as on the joint report chal dekhte hain so let's start with the tabular report theek hai 
Just give me one second, guys. Hmm. So let's now start with the very first kind of report and that's tabular. Okay. So what exactly is the tabular report? So we shall discuss this whole thing with the use cases. I mean, this is the right and proper way to understand the reports. Okay, so let's configure a tabular report on the account object to represent all the data. Uh, not all exactly, uh, to represent the selected data from account. Okay. I'm going to select a few of the uh, few of the fields from the account, and then we are going to represent those fields on the table. So let's understand how to create the report. So let's go to the report once again. And because we wanted this to be stored inside this folder skyline, let me first of all open this folder. Ah, Even if you don't select it right now, that's uh, nothing. So it not it, it is not like that you first to select karna Aisa kuch nahi. Just go with this uh, folder, uh, this button, new report. Now it will ask you what kind of report you wanted to prepare. You know, what kind of report you wanted to prepare. So uh, you I mean, these, these are the name of the objects, you know, you need to find out on which object you wanted to create. I wanted to create a report on which object account object. So let me select, uh, first of all, expand this list, you know, account and contacts. In this folder, you could see the name of accounts and contacts and then opportunities and then customer lead activities. Wagera, wagera. So let's expand this and uh, click here because we have account contacts and account account with parents all these options are here out of this i just wanted to create the report only on the account object so let me go with this option only account select the account and then click this button create okay so this is what this is what the user interface for this whole uh, reports on the left hand side let me highlight this whole thing so on this left hand side whatever you see you know these are the fields of that object you have selected because we have selected the account object. So uh, I'm going, uh, what I'm seeing over here, you know, these are the fields of account. See, these all are the fields of account object, right? So on, on the left-hand side, you what you will see, these are the fields of the uh, object. I mean, the object that you have selected to be uh, taken as to be the first reports input data. Now on the top, this is something called as filter section. And then we are going to understand ke how to apply the filters and everything. Here is what this section is actually your report. This is your report section. So if I, you know, if I wanted to highlight okay, where exactly is my report, this is my report. This particular section is my report section. And presently I could see, you know, it, it is having these columns. Uh, these, these fields are the columns in the report, account owner, account name, okay. account owner, and then account name and then type and then rating in a last activity, all these are like this. Now we will customize this as per our requirement. Let's understand how to customize this. So I don't want to see this account owner. I mean, I, in my report, this is what my report, I don't want account owner. So you could remove this. There are two possibilities, Just, you know, you could uh, like click on over here and there is uh, like uh, one of the option in this pick list at the bottom, remove the column. This is the one way. The second and the most easiest way, just drag it from here, drop it over here. That's it. You don't want to have last activity, drag and drop. Drag and drop. You don't want billing state, drag and drop. That's it. This is the most easiest way. You know, I want account name, type rating. Apart, let me, you know, get few, let me grab few more fields from here. Type is already there. I want to see the annual revenue. Now, same way, you could, you know, drag and drop it like this. One more way. One more way I'm going to tell you. And so, for example, if you wanted to append the industry also, you know, you wanted to append the industry. So either one, 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 one way is that, you know, just drag and drop like this. The second way, just make a double click on this industry. And so it's added. Okay, yeah, added away. And then you wanted ownership, just make a double click. Ownership. Now, is me kya drawback hai? You know, if you make a double click over here, what is the drawback? Whatever the field that is added, it, it's added at the last. For example, you have something called as like uh, active status. You know, you want it to, uh, to present it somewhere around, the, you know, if you click on the double click, it will come to the end. So, what do you depend on? If you drag it, then you can drop it. Here, 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 wherever you want. 
तो ये एक थोड़ा सा फायदा मिलता है ड्रैगन ड्रॉप का ठीक है तो वो बहुत बड़ा चीज नहीं है ये मतलब ये अपने ऊपर है सो आई वॉन्टेड टू सी दोन ऑल्सो इन दैक्सो इन दाइट ऑल्सो सो so these many you know i constructed this report with all these so let me remove the websites theek hai itna maine columns add kiya hai matlab my report typically consists of all these columns what are those name active status then type and then rating and everything okay so abhi yahan pe this time mujhe sirf panch hi record hai kya mere account object mein sirf panch hi record hai if i go and check with the account you know if i click all accounts and go button i could see that it's have 19 record to yahan mujhe 19 record kyun nahi dikh rahe hain it's showing me that it's only five record uski wajah ye filter ek to pehli baat mujhe all accounts nahi dikh rahe hain i could i am seeing just my account let me first of all click my accounts my accounts dikhta hu to bhi mereko panch hi record dikh rahe hain uski wajah yahan par ek filter laga hua hai kaun sa filter laga ye dekhiye aap created date range custom matlab 11 11 19 11 se leke ab tak ke record dikh rahe hain so i don't want this to be main range mein kuch changes karta hu let me make this as to be the all time all accounts of all time all accounts of all time and now you know now i could see that report has all together 19 records your account object have 19 records your report also have 19 records now let me run this report dekho yahan pe button hai run karne so let me run this report and this is how a tabular report looks like theek hai this is how a tabular report looks like theek hai ye hai aapka report actually tabular report which is showing you the fields as the column you know account name is a field account is a column over here activity is a field of account it's a column type is a field type is a column rating is a field rating is a column so whatever the column now if you wanted to make certain changes you know aapko kuch aur changes yahan pe kuch aur field lana you wanted to bring the website also how to do that let's click this button customize once again theek hai you will be landed over here and then go to the website make a double click okay else you wanted to have some more field customer priority you know just click on that once again run the report now see so this is how you know this is how we actually make customer priority and this website has been added so this is uh, first of all this is a tabular report theek hai ab iske bare mein kuch cheeze aur padhni hai aapko first of all the first thing you understand how to construct a report how to select the columns and everything uske baad mein let's now save this first of all chalo isko ab save kar lete hain save as what so i'm going to save this as the name tabular use case one use case one theek hai This is what the report is. Uh, give the unique name also. अपने आप prepare हो जाता है as soon as you press the tab. Now on which folder you wanted to store this? Either you wanted to store in the my personal and the unfile, Einstein board, है ना? ये सब क्या है? These all are the standard folders. No, I created a folder called as Skyline. You know, I I wanted this report to be get stored inside this folder. तो आप select करें folder और save कर दें. तो नाउ योर रिपोर्ट इज गोइंग टू बी आपकी जो रिपोर्ट है वो सेव हो गई है कौन सी है ये आपकी रिपोर्ट है एस अंडर वन सेकेंड ओपन दिस फोल्डर ओपन दिस रिपोर्ट तो ये है मेरी रिपोर्ट जो कि टैबुलर रिपोर्ट मैंने बना एंड दिस इज हाउ द टैबुलर रिपोर्ट लुक्स लाइक ठीक है अब हम इस पे और क्या क्या कर सकते हैं चलो अब हम आगे बढ़ते हैं हम फिर से रिवाइज करते हैं हमने अभी तक क्या देखा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कितनी तरह की रिपोर्ट होती है चार तरह की टैबुलर ठीक है उसके बाद मैट्रिक्स ज्वाइंट एंड सामारी कौन सी रिपोर्ट पे आप चैप कंपोनेंट क्रिएट कर सकते हो समरी पे और मैट्रिक्स पे किस पे नहीं कर सकते हो टैबुलर और जॉइंट अच्छा सी अभी वाइवा के दौरान वाइवा बोल रहा हूँ अभी मॉक के दौरान एक चीज आइडेंटिफाई किया मैंने मतलब वो मैं आई वाज अबाउट टू आस्क मैं पूछने वाला था कि ऑन विच रिपोर्ट वी कैन क्रिएट चैट कंपोनेंट और मैंने क्या पूछ लिया ऑन विच रिपोर्ट वी कैनॉट क्रिएट चैट कंपोनेंट मतलब क्वेश्चन थोड़ा ट्विस्ट हो गया एक्चुअली वो मतलब मुझसे भी गलती से ही हो गया हुआ ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने इंटेंशनली पूछा तो मैंने एक अभी मॉक में उस कैंडिडेट को पूछा ऑन विच रिपोर्ट वी कैन नॉट क्रिएट दिस चैट एंड डैशबोर्ड कंपोनेंट्स वी कैन नॉट क्रिएट अब वो कैन नॉट क्रिएट की आदत नहीं थी ना सुनने में क्या था कि ऑन विच रिपोर्ट यू कुड क्रिएट द डैशबोर्ड उसने मेरे को बोला समरी रिपोर्ट एंड मैट्रिक्स रिपोर्ट मतलब जिसपे क्रिएट कर सकते हैं वो उसने आंसर दिया देन फिर मैंने अपना क्वेश्चन याद किया कि वट आई हैव आज टू हर तो मैंने पूछा कि डिड यू लिसन माई क्वेश्चन केयरफुली तो फिर वो थोड़ा सा मतलब कैंडिडेट भी सोचने पड़ गया कि नहीं वॉट वॉट ही हैज आज तो मैंने कहा आई एक्चुअली हैव आज क्योंकि ऑन विच रिपोर्ट वी कैन नॉट क्रिएट एंड यू आर सेंग मी दैट समरी एंड ज्वाइंट समरी एंड मैट्रिक्स रिपोर्ट 
तो बोले ओके सर आई थॉट कि ऑन विच रिपोर्ट यू ऑन मीन ऑन विच रिपोर्ट यू कुड क्रिएट तो वो भी एक चीज इंपॉर्टेंट है देखो क्वेश्चन को पूरा समझो पूरा सुन लिया तब कुछ लोगों को बहुत जल्दी होती है अगर आपको आंसर आता है तो आपको बहुत जल्दी होती है आंसर देने की तो वैसा नहीं करा करो प्लीज ठीक है तो उसमें कैसा नहीं ओवर स्मार्टनेस जो होती है ना कभी कभी ले डूबती है अपने को सही बता रहा हूँ तो बेटर क्या है ना शांत एक जैसा वो क्या बोलते हैं उसको स्टडी एंड स्लो है ना विंस द रेस ऐसा कुछ तो भी है ना वो तो थोड़ा ना क्वेश्चन को सुनो ध्यान से सुन लिया करो कभी कभी ऐसा भी ट्विस्ट हो जाता है राधर देन आस्किंग कि आप किस पे बना सकते हो देखो डी बना क्योंकि भाई साहब किस पे नहीं बना सकते हो तो आप क्या बोलोगे अरे समरी और ज्वाइंट समरी और मैट्रिक्स तो बोलेगा अच्छा इस पर नहीं बना सकते तो आप बोलोगे नहीं नहीं विकुट क्रिएट तो बोलेगा यार मैं तो पूछ रहा हूँ ऑन विच रिपोर्ट यू कैन नॉट क्रिएट आप बोल रहे अरे अरे सॉरी 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 तो वाई शुड यू नो वो सॉरी बोलने की नौबत ही क्यों आए तो थोड़ा सा क्वेश्चन ना ध्यान से सुन लिया करो चलिए सो so, uh, तो टैबुलर रिपोर्ट वी हैव कंस्ट्रक्टेड अब इस पे क्या क्या कर सकते हैं एक बार वो देख लो पहले फिर हम आगे पढ़ेंगे सबसे पहले आई कुड रन द रिपोर्ट ठीक है वन सेकेंड आई कुड रन द रिपोर्ट एवरी टाइम इफ यू मेक एनी चेंजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट्स नॉट शोइंग मी दैट देर आर नाइनटीन रिकॉर्ड ठीक है लेट्स मी लेट मी गो टू दउंट ऑब्जेक्ट एक नया रिकॉर्ड इंसर्ट मारता हूँ मैं यहाँ पे with this name and few of the details you know with this name and few of the details let me create an uh, record with the active status is yes and then type is customers channel industries banking let me go up with few of the details and let me save the record let me save the record okay So, अभी मैंने रिकॉर्ड सेव कर लिया नाउ इफ आई गो टू दी अकाउंट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वन सेकेंड इफ आई गो विद दी ऑल अकाउंट सो प्रीवियसली इट वॉज नाइनटीन नाउ वी आर हैविंग ट्वेंटी रिकॉर्ड ओके लेकिन अगर मैं रिपोर्ट पे जाता हूँ तो रिपोर्ट अभी भी क्या चल रहा है नाइनटीन ना हाउ कूड यू गेट द रेटेस्ट डेटा वन वे इज टू रिफ्रेश दिस विंडो दिस होल विंडो ठीक है तो उसमें भी आपको मिल जाएगा पूरा द सेकेंड इज इफ यू यू नो इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू रिफ्रेश द कंटेंट द डेटा इन साइड द रिपोर्ट दिस वन बटन कॉल्ड इज रन रिपोर्ट वन यू रन दिस रिपोर्ट दिस इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी गेट यू नो फ्रेश क्वांटिटी ऑफ डेटा इसको मिल जाता है सो ट्वेंटी रिकॉर्ड आ रहा है तो ये जो रन रिपोर्ट का बटन यहाँ पे किस लिए होता है अगर ये कभी आपको मशीन टेस्ट में पूछ ले कि यू आर अभी जैसे यहाँ पर फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये क्यों पूछेगा कहाँ तक कैसे आएगा यहाँ तक वो मैं आपको बताता हूँ लेट मी टेक यू टू दिस कस्टमर आपको एक रिपोर्ट बनाने बोलेगा ठीक है आपको एक रिपोर्ट बनाने बोलेगा टेबुलर रिपोर्ट जैसे आपको बोलते जाएगा ठीक है कि ये सारी फील्ड्स ऐड करो देन यू विल एडेड दिस होल थिंग यहाँ पर आपको एक बटन दिख रहा है रन रिपोर्ट का मतलब ये एडमिन पे जो टेस्ट लेते हैं मशीन टेस्ट उसके बारे में मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ ठीक है प्रोसेस को समझो ध्यान से समझो कि अगर मुझे ये क्वेश्चन पूछना है इफ आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू दिस सेम क्वेश्चन तो मैं आपसे किस तरह से पूछूंगा आई विल फर्स्ट आस्क यू यू नो टू क्रिएट अ रिपोर्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी You are you are creating this whole report. I have told you, and you have created. Now I'll say, okay, okay, fine. Run this report. Run the report. अब यहाँ पर आने के बाद में, this is what the report. अब यहाँ मैं पूछूँगा, see on the previous page, यानी कि जब आप यहाँ पर थे, आप जब यहाँ पर थे, तो यहाँ पर एक बटन था, run report. का. Okay, fine. You click this, you come to over here. Now why यहाँ पर क्यों है run? Because you are all, already on to that particular user interface. Run report का button press करने के बाद जिस interface पे आते हैं, वहाँ पर तो आप पहले से आ चुके हो. Now why this button is over here? ये इस तरह से कंफ्यूज करते हैं दे विल ट्राई टू आस्क क्योंकि वो ये जो यूजर इंटरफेस है ना दिस यूजर इंटरफेस या दिस यूजर इंटरफेस ये यूजर इंटरफेस को डिस्प्ले करने के लिए ये बटन है रन रिपोर्ट अब वो इसके पहले के वाले जो पेज था उसमें था यू क्लिक दैट यू कम टू हियर ना वाई वाई यू सी दिस रन रिपोर्ट वन सेकेंड ओवर हियर तो ये एम्बिग्यूटी है कि नहीं ये यही डेटा यहाँ पर लाने के लिए अब आपको बोलना पड़ेगा कि नो 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 दिस इज नॉट जस्ट टू रन द रिपोर्ट एक्चुअली दिस बटन इज हियर टू गेट द लेटेस्ट कॉपी ऑफ डेटा टू रिफ्रेश द कंटेंट ऑफ योर रिपोर्ट यू नो नो फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसा अब भी मैंने आपको दिखा है ना इफ आई गो यू नो यू आर रनिंग दिस रिपोर्ट एंड समन इज एक्चुअली स्टोरिंग द डेटा इन साइड अब हमारे ये तो पक्की बात है कि बहुत सारे यूजर्स होते हैं है ना we are we uh, we are running this report we are seeing this data and some one of the user is go to this account object and he make certain changes like he has inserted a record rather he deleted few the record to so record count badal chuka hai 
if someone of the user has make any changes either by inserting a record either by deleting a record to account the record change ho chuka to get that refresh you know to get a fresh copy of data we every time required to see this uh, click this button run report to so second time jab hum run report yahan par press karte hain this is not to display the data on to this uh, uh, not to not to launch to this particular user interface rather wo hota hai isliye ki aap aapko latest data mil you will get the fresh copy of data this is what a question ठीक है और देखो मैं एक एक पॉइंट पकड़ के बता रहा हूँ तुमको एक 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 चीज बता रहा हूँ ठीक है इतना डिटेल में पहली बात तो कोई जाएगा भी नहीं लेकिन कैसा ना दीज आर दिंग्स डेट वी एक्चुअली मॉक में हम इस तरह से तैयार करते हैं इसलिए मैं आपको ये भी बता रहा हूँ और ऐसे तैयार होने के बाद ना आपको कोई भी इंटरव्यू फिर आपको भारी नहीं लगता है ठीक है चलो सेकेंड थिंग यहाँ पर एक और चीज है और यह है स्केड्यूल करना अब ये भी एक क्वेश्चन बनता है देखो स्केड्यूल मैं बताता हूँ हाउ टू स्केड्यूल द रिपोर्ट उसमें भी हम ये हर बार देखेंगे हम नाउ वी आर ऑन टू दिस टैबुलर रिपोर्ट तो कैन वी स्केड्यूल द टैबुलर रिपोर्ट और नॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस कैन वी स्केड्यूल द समारी रिपोर्ट और नॉट वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सी दिस ज्वाइंट रिपोर्ट मैट्रिक्स रिपोर्ट तो आपको पता चलेगा कि आउट ऑफ दिस फोर रिपोर्ट सिवाय ज्वाइंट रिपोर्ट के बाकी सबको आप स्केड्यूल कर सकते हो ठीक है सिवाय ज्वाइंट रिपोर्ट के एवरी रिपोर्ट कैन बी स्केड्यूल्ड तो चलो वो कैसे होती है वो देखते हैं स्केड्यूल करना मतलब क्या होता है वो भी समझ देखो स्केड्यूल करना मतलब ये होता है फर्स्ट ऑफ लेट्स कम टू द इंटरफेस यहां से ज्यादा अच्छे से समझ में आएगा आपको आई वांटेड अ रिपोर्ट अब ये जो रिपोर्ट मैंने बनाई है आई वांटेड दिस रिपोर्ट टू बी रन पीरियोडिकली ठीक है पीरियोडिकली इन अ सर्टन इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम्स एंड वेन एवर द रिपोर्ट इज गोइंग टू बी रन वेदर यू वॉन्टेड दिस रिपोर्ट डेटा टू बी गेट ओवर ई सिर्फ आपको या आपके अलावा किसी और को भी यूजर तो अभी यहाँ पे इसलिए नहीं आ रहा बिकॉज जिसके पास सेल्स फोर्स लाइसेंस होता है उसी का नाम यहाँ पर आता है तो ये सेल्स फोर्स लाइसेंस क्या है या फिर जिसके पास सिस्टम एडमिन प्रोफाइल होती है उसके नाम आते हैं तो वो सिर्फ फिलहाल आप ही हो अभी हमने यूजर क्रिएट किए नहीं बट ऐसे जितने भी यूजर्स हैं जो कि या तो सिस्टम एडमिन है ठीक है या जिनके पास सेल्स फोर्स लाइसेंस है उन सबके नाम यहाँ पर आ जाते हैं उसमें से आप सिलेक्ट कर सकते हो ऐसा एक यूजर ऑलरेडी एडेड है वो कौन हो वो तो मैं ही हूँ दिस इज माई तो अभी यहाँ पे ये डिस्प्ले नहीं हो रहा है लेकिन हाँ ये यहाँ पर आते हैं वो यूजर्स आ जाते हैं जिनको हम मेल कर सकते हैं पब्लिक ग्रुप्स अगर बना रखे हैं तो उसमें भी आता है नाम आता है अभी आपने कुछ नहीं किया ऐसा यहाँ पे इसलिए चीजें आइडेंटिटी ब्लैक है बट आप जब भी रिपोर्ट रन करोगे तो उसका डेटा खुद को और अपने अलावा किसी टू मी एंड और अदर्स आप किसी को और को भी दे सकते हो ठीक है अब जब हम रिपोर्ट को शेड्यूल कर रहे हैं तो इसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी क्या हो सकती है मतलब आप डेली डेली मतलब कब हर वीकडे में वीकडेज यानी मंडे टू फ्राइडे या हर दिन हर दिन मतलब इंक्लूडिंग सैटरडे संडे ऑल्सो मंडे टू संडे पूरा या वीकली अगर आप वीकली कर रहे हो तो कब यानी ऑन जैसे कि अगर आज फ्राइडे है हफ्ते भर में कितना बिजनेस हुआ है फ्रॉम मंडे टू लेके थर्सडे तक वो सारा फ्राइडे को क्लोजिंग करते हैं अपन तो क्लोजिंग के वक्त एक रिपोर्ट जानी चाहिए तो ऑन फ्राइडे कितने बजे ठीक है स्टार्ट और कब से कब तक और कितने बजे टाइमिंग क्या रहे उसका वो टाइमिंग भी आप डिसाइड कर सकते हो उतने बजे रिपोर्ट रन होनी चाहिए और रन होने के बाद जो डेटा वो कलेक्ट करती है वो ई पे जाना चाहिए मुझको या मेरे अलावा इन सारे लोगों को भी ठीक है वीकली या मंथली अगर तो मंथली मतलब मंथली में कौन सी डेट पे वन से लेकर थर्टी तक कौन सी डेट पे ऑफ द मंथ ऑफ ठीक है या फिर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ संडे या सेकंड ऑफ संडे मंडे ट्यूसडे नहीं सेकंड सैटरडे बोलते हैं सेकंड सैटरडे हर हर मंथ की सेकंड सैटरडे जो है रिपोर्ट रन होनी चाहिए तो ये सब क्या दीज आर वो अपना जो टाइम का सिलेक्शन वगैरह पार्ट होता है वो सब चीज है ठीक है तो दिस इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज रिपोर्ट स्केड्यूलर ये जो अभी इंटरफेस आपके सामने में है ना दिस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज रिपोर्ट स्केड्यूलर अब और एक चीज सुनो इस पर क्या क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं अगर मैं आपसे वॉक में ये क्वेश्चन पूछूंगा तो मैं आपसे ये पूछूंगा कि इफ आई एट ऑल वॉन्टेड टू स्केड्यूल अ रिपोर्ट ठीक है बहुत ध्यान से सुनो मेरा क्वेश्चन मैं पूछूंगा कि अगर इफ आई वांटेड टू स्केड्यूल अ रिपोर्ट व्हाट टूल शुड आई यूज वर्कफ्लो और प्रोसेस बिल्डर वर्कफ्लो या प्रोसेस बिल्डर आई विल मतलब मैं इंटेंशनली आपको कंफ्यूज कर रहा हूं मतलब मैं क्या ऑप्शन दे रहा हूं आपको वर्कफ्लो एंड प्रोसेस बिल्डर व्हाट यू नीड टू सी टू मी व्हाट यू नीड टू से टू मी इज दैट नीदर वर्कफ्लो नॉर प्रोसेस बिल्डर इफ एट ऑल आई वांटेड टू स्केड्यूल अ रिपोर्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट काइंड ऑफ रिपोर्ट दिस इज द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट स्केड्यूल ज्वाइंट रिपोर्ट बाई एनी मीन ठीक है इवन विद वर्क फ्लोज एंड प्रोसेस बिल्डर यू कैन नॉट स्केड्यूल ज्वाइंट ज्वाइंट को स्केड्यूल नहीं किया जा सकता ठीक है तो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिपोर्ट बिकॉज ज्वाइंट रि
we don't require any of the automation tool, neither your workflows nor process builder. There's a direct option in the report itself. This is an user interface. There's a direct user interface inside the report itself. So this user interface is actually used to schedule the report. You know, this is what the scheduled report interface is. मुझे तो पता है कि मैं किस चीज को कहाँ हाईलाइट करता हूँ और कहा वापस लेके आता हूँ एग्जैक्ट स्टार्ट टाइम विल डिपेंड्स ऑन द जॉब क्यू जॉब क्यू एक्टिविटी अब ये जॉब क्या है और ये क्यू क्या होती है ठीक है तो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ अपेक्स क्यू एंड फ्लेक्स क्यू ये हम पढ़ने वाले हैं आगे चल के बैच प्रोग्रामिंग पे तब मैं आपको एक बार फिर से यहाँ पे लाऊंगा और तब मैं ये जॉब का मतलब और ये क्यू का मतलब बताऊंगा आपको ठीक है तो ये जो टाइमिंग्स है दिस ऑल आर दी अप्रोक्सीमेट टाइमिंग्स ठीक है दिस ऑल आर द अप्रोक्सीमेट टाइमिंग्स इट कुड स्टार्ट अप टू सेवन समाइम सात बज के दो सेकंड पांच सेकंड एक मिनट पे भी हो सकता है डेट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन द जॉब इन द क्यू तो वो क्या है वो हम देखने वाले हैं तो खैर ये एक पॉइंट है जो मैं आगे चल के रेस करूंगा और वापस लाके फिर से दिखाऊंगा आपको कुछ चीजें चलिए फिलहाल मुद्दा ये नहीं है मुद्दा ये है कि अगर आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा जाए कि आई वांटेड टू स्केड्यूल अ रिपोर्ट व्हाट शुड आई यूज फॉर दैट लाइक वर्क क्लोज और प्रोसेस बिल्डर तो इफ यू आर गिविंग मे दिस आंसर यू शुड आस्क मी अक्रॉस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिपोर्ट यू वॉन्टेड टू स्केड्यूल बिकॉज इफ यू आर आस्किंग मी टू स्केड्यूल अ ज्वाइंट रिपोर्ट So I'm very sorry. It cannot be done. It cannot be done. Yeah. What I can schedule, I could schedule. I could schedule for you. I could schedule the tabular report. I could schedule the summary and the matrix also. But I cannot do the joint report because this is something which is you know Salesforce won't allow me to do that. And if Salesforce won't allow me, then then I am who am I going to do it? Now to answer your question, what should I use to schedule this report? Actually, there is no need to use this workflows and the process builder. There is a direct interface. There is a direct interface. You know, there is a direct interface. The user interface is there inside the reports. There is a direct user interface to schedule the report. What is that? There is a button run report. On this button, there is an option to schedule the report. Schedule the future runs. This is the option to open this interface. And within this interface, you could schedule the. ठीक है ये है वो. This is the second thing. Third thing. third thing let me you know i am having this 5 to 6 minutes off but one more thing i wanted to you know ab ye khatam karta hu main tab uske baad kal se aage lunga one more thing here i wanted to you know explain i could even you know download this data onto my pc this is also one of the option you have two option hote printable view export view then dono mein se koi bhi le sakte ho aap usme koi dikkat nahi ha aap pucho sir difference kya hai difference i will give you this in as assignment aap aap karke dekho aap batao mujhko you will tell me what is the difference excel format or csv dono format available hai ठीक है आप जिसमें चाहे सी एस वी एस कॉमर्स सेपरेटेड वैल्यू इस पर क्या होता है अगर आपको अभी नहीं पता तो प्रोग्रामिंग पे यूज करने ही वाले हम लोग कॉमर्स सेपरेटेड वैल्यूज को ठीक है अगर आप नॉर्मल एक्सेल तो मेरे ख्याल सभी को पता होगा ठीक है जस्ट एक्सपोर्ट दिस डेटा तो यू कुड इवन डाउनलोड द रिपोर्ट डेटा ऑन टू योर पीसी ऑन टू योर लोकल सिस्टम देखो ये डाउनलोड हुआ इसको मैं ओपन करता हूँ इस तरह से ये पूरा रिपोर्ट डेटा जो हमने अभी देखा दिस ऑल्सो वी कुड डाउनलोड so it is what let me make few of the formatting so that aap ko acche se nazar aaye see and uh, no thing i could do is solve whatever now this is what this is what the data looks like uh huh this is what the data looks like theek hai ye hai these are the columns theek hai ye aapke columns hai theek hai active status type and this this whole data ye hai aapka ye download ho gaya hai wo ठीक है ये डाउनलोड हो गया है ठीक है इस तरह से आप डाउनलोड करते हैं कॉपी राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट आर ऑल्सो बिंग डाउनलोडेड वेन एवर यू डाउनलोड एनी रिपोर्ट ये कॉपी राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन भी डाउनलोड होती है इसको कैसे रिमूव करते हैं ये प्लीज मुझसे पूछना आप अभी नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में क्योंकि अगर मैं भूल गया तो प्लीज मुझसे पूछ लेना बिकॉज दिस कुड बी वन ऑफ द रिक्वायरमेंट एक जगह मेरे को पड़ी थी इसकी रिक्वायरमेंट इसलिए बता रहा हूं मैं वन वे इज सिंपल वन वे सिंपल आप बोलो सर ये तो बहुत इजी बात है इसको बस ऐसे सिलेक्ट करो हटा दो ठीक है आई एम एग्री विद दैट बट आप तो एक ही रिपोर्ट देख रहे हो ना हम तो एक दिन में कम से कम सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सेवेंटी थाउजेंड रिपोर्ट डाउनलोड कर रहे थे अब उसमें आप क्या सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सेवेंटी थाउजेंड में ऐसा मैनुअली डिलीट थोड़ी ना करोगे देर मस्ट बी समोविजन फॉर दैट 
तो वो प्रोविजन है सेल्स फोर्स में टू रिमूव दिस ऑल कॉपी राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम एवरी रिपोर्ट वो कैसे होता है वो मैं बताऊंगा आपको ठीक है तो ये थोड़ा सा मुझे पूछ लेना प्लीज नेक्स्ट टाइम याद दिला देना कुछ ये कॉपी राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन के विदाउट में ये रिपोर्ट डाउनलोड होती है उसकी सेटिंग है सेल्सफोर्स में उसकी सेटिंग है मैं बताऊंगा उस चीज को चलो सो दिस इज होल लॉइट वी कुड डू ऑन द टेबुलर रिपोर्ट इसके अलावा कुछ और ऑप्शन है कस्टमाइज वापस जाने के लिए सेव सेव एस डिलीट करने के लिए प्रिंटेबल एक्सपोर्टेबल सेम है दोनों में थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस है माइन्यूट डिफरेंस है क्या डिफरेंस है वो आप देख लेना ये बिना डाउनलोड किए भी प्रिंट करने के लिए है और ये डाउनलोड करके कस्टमाइज करके प्रिंट करने के लिए बस इतना सा डिफरेंस है फिर भी मैं चाहता हूँ कि आप एक बार प्रैक्टिस करो ठीक है और एड टू कैंपेन एंड सब्सक्राइब अभी छोड़ दो दिस इज समथिंग रिलेटेड टू ओमनी चैनल ये छोड़ दो अभी बाकी ठीक है नेक्स्ट टाइप इसके बाद देखते हैं ओके टूडे इज फ्राइडेट मीन ऑन मंडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस होल 